I'm Aceage, and this is episode 3 of World Building Wednesdays, where I waffle on about some of my fictional worlds while filling in some artwork. This is some concept art of the security personnel of the Connacht Trading Company, or Colacht Torala Connacht, from the Connacht Disaster Zone series. CTC are the Irish Dwarves' primary trading interface with the outside world. They're basically a pre World War I version of the classic mega corporation from the cyberpunk genre or the East India Trade Company from our own world. It started out as something akin to the Hanseatic League, a loosely connected alliance of merchant guilds among the Dwarven cities in the mid-12th century. They effectively had a monopoly on trading cave spider silk, which was their main product until the transatlantic trade took off. They didn't take part in Columbus's original voyage across the Atlantic, though, just like in our world, he did visit Goli in 1477. Once the transatlantic trade kicked off, they profited heavily from the Atlantic sugar, tobacco, and slave trade from the 16th century. Just like everyone else, really, until it was finally banned in the 19th century. That forced CTC to look elsewhere, which led to them further investing in shipbuilding firms like Harland & Wolf, early electrical engineering firms, or arms manufacturers like Bickers and Ikea. Yes, I'm swapping Ikea and Bufors in this universe, purely because it amuses me. One of their subsidiaries is Hibernotech, a manufacturing firm that specialises in early home electrical appliances like tea makers or coffee machines, which of course requires an electricity supply. I suppose I'd have to get involved in wind power or tidal power, since those dwarven cities are, around the, are based around the coastline of Ireland. How they'd store it is another thing that I'm not going into here, but they'll probably be ahead of us on that front. Maybe. Unlike the East India Trade Company, they didn't get involved in this opium trade to China, but they did steal tea and smuggle it back to Ireland to grow here. Now, I do know there are people growing it in Scotland. In fact, somebody's doing that on the, on the Orkneys and there will be a link in the description. So it isn't impossible to grow it here. Dwarves are still heavy tea drinkers, and some actually smoke it instead of tobacco. I haven't a clue what the effects of that would be, but it couldn't be worse than tobacco. As of the early 20th century, when the series is currently set, they still have, have a lot of influence over Dwarven society. They're somewhat antagonistic. A CTC scientist deliberately exposed a couple of exposed teenagers to infected air from the Fomorian tunnels of Connemara, trying to figure out what caused the Fomorians to appear. This, or rather the aftermath of it, is covered in my short story collection, The Crow Island Affair. Their security forces are relatively large for a private conglomerate, numbering about 10,000 across the globe for a group of about 120,000 employees in total. Most employees are, sub are contracted from subsidiary firms like Tribal Protection, a COVID-based security company, However, they also have an internal unit, the Business Intelligence Unit, that handles corporate espionage and other less salacious activities. The BIU makes heavy use of electronic warfare, or rather tapping telegraph cables, and were heavily involved in the events around Crow Island. I haven't really done many stories from CTC's perspective. The only one so far is Board Report within the Crow Island affair, where the board discovers the shenanigans and are not happy about it. I don't know if I will do more either. I mean, I prefer the idea of them just being there in the background screwing things up or being a wild card. Most of my characters certainly want nothing to do with them.
that is going to be it for this video. If you have any comments or suggestions for other videos, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.